Hi, I'm Tommy. And I'm Harry. And today, uh, due to holiday madness, we're just going to make uh, a few holiday recipes for you and show you how we make a homemade basket of goodies for our friends. And then we're going to make uh, one final recipe, and that's uh, a little bit more uh, for a party. Today we're making chipotle cheese straws, which is kind of a spicy cheese cracker. So for our cheese straws, uh, it's a very simple recipe. All it, all it requires is uh, some sharp cheddar cheese. I like extra sharp cheddar. Gives it that little extra kick. A stick of softened butter. Uh, some flour, just standard, uh, standard flour. Baking powder, which I have in there. Uh, salt, you can use kosher or regular. Uh, this is the magic ingredient right here. Chipotle powder. This is what makes cheese straws, cheese straws. Mm. And uh, then some liquid smoke. And all you do is just combine it all, mix it, put it out in a cookie press onto your pan and bake it. And that's all it is. Okay, so in goes the flour first. Probably better to lift that up for your flour in. And you can go ahead and add your cheese. Do that too. Just, just shred it. Okay. And as the instructions say, you just add all the other ingredients. So there's salt. And there goes the baking powder, very important, so it'll rise. And this ever important chipotle powder. Mm. And finally liquid smoke, like so. And you can't forget your butter. Use a good quality butter, please. And that's it. Put it in there, need your dough hook. Lock it into place, start it off slow. And you're gonna need a rubber spatula. So this is your, this is what you end up with. It's like, it's in pea size bits. But you just squish it together, you see, and it makes it a dough. See? And so that's why we use the cookie press to press the dough mm -hmm. tightly. Right. So now that we have our dough ready, we just take our, our cookie press, and uh, I just bought this at a local department store, and the recipe says to use what they call a hound's tooth. See? Like that. Uh, and it'll come out in one ribbon then. And so that's probably the best thing. And I've been doing it that way for years. And it always works out well. So you take yours and you just, just by hand, put it in your press. You fill it up until you can't really put any more in. Then you put your, your fitting on the end. And then the cookie press does the rest. Okay? And so we just turn it around so it'll start. The handle will start gearing down and see what it does. It's starting to press. And it's going to compress those bits into one piece of dough then. And it's eventually going to come right out there. Let's see. Let's make sure that's doing well. I think it is. So our die cut template cracked, and so we had to change to a different template. Mm -hmm. I think this is actually going to work out well. They're already going to be in pieces. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, you just pump it out there, and that's it. That's the all, all of it. And so what we did is we switched to this fitting. It has uh, three rather large openings. And it comes out like this, and probably what I think I'll do is just sort of spread them out where they're sort of flat. And I think they'll bake okay. What do you think, Tommy? That looks like that should work. Okay. Usually we have to refill this about three times per batch. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You want to preheat your oven to 300 degrees. 
and I believe it that the instructions say recipe says that they bake for about 20 minutes uh, we will verify that all right let's try to spread these out now I'm gonna put in the oven for uh, so what's it say somewhere check after 20 minutes so 20 to 25 minutes all right, the cheese straws just came out of the oven. We're going to break all these apart and package them up for our gift baskets. So here's the end product of our cheese straws. And although some of them laid on top of others, we just had to bake it a little longer and it turned out great.